been three and a half years since Edward Snowden walked off to Russia with a vast trove of American secrets, more than a million pages of them. He's still a hero to many, and groups like the ACLU and Amnesty International have called upon President Obama to pardon him before leaving office. Obama didn't. Now, a new book aggressively questions the idea that Snowden was any kind of hero, saying he, de he deliberately sought to steal American secrets before accepting Putin's offer to defect to Russia. Edward J. Epstein has dedicated his life to investigating a lot of things, including journalism. And he just released his latest book, How America Lost Its Secrets, Snowden, The Man, and The Theft. And he joins us now. Edward J. Epstein, great to see you. Nice seeing so, you, Tuck. You point out uh, in your book that in some ways Snowden did the American public a favor by proving that the U.S. government was in fact spying on the population and doing so secretly. But then you make the point that he went way beyond that and damaged American national security. Why didn't he stop at the public service part of what he did? Well, I think one has to acknowledge that there's always a silver lining to every cloud. But the cloud was really a very dark thunderstorm in terms of what happened to American intelligence because of the damage purposely and deliberately inflicted by Snowden. And, and it was purposeful and deliberate. Y y you demonstrate and you talk to him, you went over to Russia. What was his motive exactly? I don't really know Snowden's motive. I'm more or less interested, I'm more interested in his actions. Why he took these documents, there were 1.5 million files, according to the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, that he removed. Once he removed these files, they were compromised, and the entire communications intelligence of the West shrunk by that amount. So why did he do this? What he did is basically fly to Hong Kong. He made a pit stop there where he managed to make himself the poster boy of, uh, of whistleblowing for American journalism. They never could see the whole story. They never asked what happened to the other 1,440,000 documents he didn't give journalists. Why did he go to Russia? The one thing I do, I am sure of, is that his going to Russia was done as a Russian-supported operation. Yes, and, and you demonstrate that. He, he boarded an Aeroflot plane with an invalid passport, and that only could have happened with the complicity of the Russian government. Not only right. that, but, sorry, but, but not what, a, happened to, what happened to the rest of the documents? You say only a small percentage made it into the hands of journalists. Where are the rest? Were, they, were all of them released? Well, that's the trillion-dollar question, because in the, world, in the murky world of espionage, we don't really know who gets which documents. We don't know if they went to Russia, China, if they were divided, if he threw them into the sea. But the damage was that basically uh, the military, the Pentagon, had to spend uh, five months going through a million five hundred thousand files. Every source, every method had to be canceled. It was a huge destructive uh, exercise that happened, and we've suffered because of it. So I, I didn't understand from what you wrote why the NSA would have given Snowden, who was not an employee but a contractor, access to what you described, level three uh, secrets, the highest level uh, secrets. Why would they have let him handle those or have access to them? Snowden somehow learned that another contractor, Booz Allen Hamilton, had a contract to work on level three, which are secrets without sources and which men where the sources and methods aren't uh, right. taken away. So he purposely switched jobs. He said that. He changed jobs to get at the lists of computers that were being penetrated by the NSA. So he went after. It wasn't, they didn't accidentally come before him. He targeted and went after the sources and methods, which are the crown jewels of any intelligence service and incredibly important to communications intelligence. Yeah, more even than we may understand. Edward J. Epstein, thanks all for coming on tonight. I appreciate it.